leaf is like a fan. Bring me this plant. Really? We're not done yet? Um, this leaf is uh, this one. Here. Well done. Put that on the plate. Do I have to solve the number thing again? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, it's a different... Oh, cool! Complete the matrix. Every line and column must contain the five symbols with no repeats. Every line and column with the five symbols with no repeats. Okay, so it's kind of like Sudoku. Every line and column must contain the five symbols with no repeats. Okay, so we've got you and you are there. So that gives this row, this row, this column, this column. But we also need this column, this row, this row, this row, this, this, this. Okay, um, well, and this one, we've got this row, this row, this column, this column. Is there anything that could interfere with putting one of the, the purple one? We don't want the purple one here or here. Um, it could go here. Let's put it there for now. If I need to move it around, we can. Um, so then we've still got this column. Let's put that one there. And then that guy can go here. So that covers everybody with those. Now you. Let's put you here. And you... Oh, okay, this one... This one can go here, and this one can go here. And now, this guy... We can put you here. And then... Hold on, let's make sure I'm not stepping on my toes over here. Oh, that's right, we still got the leaves to do. I guess the leaf goes there. Um, so, put you and you. And now here, we still need this guy and this guy. So you've got to go here, and you've got to go here. And then this one still needs leaves, the mortar and pestle, and the little vial. Mortar and pestle can't fit in either any of those spots. So this is bad. Reset. Okay. Let's see. I want to start with the sticks. Let's start with the sticks. I'm going to put them the same way I had them before. Like that. And now let's do the powders. So this powder can only go there. This powder can only go here. So this powder can only go there. Can you stop with the stuttering, please, computer? <laughs> uh, okay, so then green's got to go here. And you have to go there. And then for this one, you've got to go there. And you've got to go here. That one, we're still missing this. That has to go there. Now for this one, okay, um, the green, where can the, this guy cannot go there, and neither can that, so they're the mortar and pestle, so the green leaves have to go there. And then you've got to go here, you've got to go here. So you have to go here, you have to go here, and you go there. Go! Yay! Well done! Now what? This flower is white, but foul flower smelling. Bring me this plant. Here, have the garlic. Here. Well done, put that on the plate. Good, now use a pestle and follow my instructions carefully. What are we doing this time? Oh no, not this again. Wait. No, they're slightly different numbers than before. Okay. Where's my paper? 
I swear this won't take as long as it did last time. Garlic plus two parsley equals 13. We've done that one before, except it was a dill before. Dill plus garlic plus ginkgo. I'll just make ginkgo GK is 18. And we've got ginkgo plus two dill is 16. This kind of looks like a similar layout to the one before, wasn't it? Uh, then we had two parsley on the bottom with a yellow flower. Yeah, I think, isn't it? It's like exactly the same layout as before, except with different symbols and different numbers. So that that makes it easier. <laughs> okay, so then we have garlic plus dill plus ginkgo is 18. And then parsley plus garlic plus dill equals 15. Parsley plus ginkgo plus dill equals 14. Now what was the one I solved for first then? That was parsley, which in this case is, what is the parsley equivalent? I think it's the dill. Yeah, it's the dill. Okay, so we're solving for dill first. So we can get garlic in terms of parsley. Garlic equals 13 minus two parsley. Then we've got um, ginkgo plus two dill equals 16. Right, we're looking for dill this time, so um, ginkgo is two dill, or 16 minus two dill. And we need. Now we need to translate parsley into dill, which we can do with one of these equations. Here's the dill. Dill plus, I think we want dill plus ginkgo plus parsley equals 14. So we've got parsley plus 16 minus 2 dill plus dill equals 14. So parsley plus 16 plus dill equals 14, minus dill, sorry, equals 14. So then parsley plus six, no, it's not, okay, parsley minus dill equals negative two. So then dill equals um, parsley plus two, yes. Okay, so then we can go in and say, where is the, we want garlic plus dill plus parsley equals something. Garlic plus parsley, okay. So, parsley, uh, which we know parsley is how many dills? What was it? Oh, wait. We wanted to solve for parsley in terms of dill, not dill in terms of parsley. So we've got, yeah, parsley. Um, parsley equals negative two plus dill. Okay, so we've got parsley plus garlic plus dill equals 15. So, that means negative two plus dill plus 13 minus, wait, two parsley. Which we know, okay, minus two parsley, which we know is negative two plus dill plus dill equals 15. Okay, negative two plus dill plus 13 minus plus four minus two dill plus a dill equals 15. My god, so much dill. So we've got, oh no, that cancels out our dill. That won't work. That is unfortunate. So we want garlic is too parsley. Dill. Oh, 
Hold on, let me look at this for a sec. I think. I think we actually, I, I chose the wrong equations here. We want to do parsley plus garlic plus dill equals 15 first to solve for um, which one did I pick here? It was 40. Yeah, we want to do that to solve for parsley in terms of dill. So let's do that. Parsley plus 13 minus 2 parsley plus dill equals 15. So then parsley. Oh, that's okay. Negative parsley plus 13 plus dill equals 15. So then dill equals 2 plus parsley. Okay. Wait, no, we want parsley in terms of dill. So then that's um, parsley equals 2 minus dill. No, dill minus 2. There we go. Okay, now we can use the ginkgo, parsley, whatever nonsense. I feel like I'm cooking something. Ginkgo. Uh, hold on. Garlic plus dill plus ginkgo equals 18. Is that the one we want? No, we want the one with parsley. Parsley plus ginkgo plus dill equals 14. So, dill minus 2 plus 16 minus 2 dill plus dill. Okay. No, the dills are going to cancel out again. We're going to end up with zero dill. That's stupid. Ah! I'm running out of paper. This is annoying. Where did I write down my equations? I don't... Oh, there we go. They're there. Um, I need one of you to result in a number, not another equation. Garlic plus dill plus ginkgo equals 18. Garlic plus dill plus ginkgo equals 18. Garlic we know in terms of parsley, which is not good. We don't want that. Did I actually get these right? They shouldn't be canceling because they didn't before. Let's look at my method from before. If I can actually follow it, because this just looks like chicken scratch. 17 minus Yelfar. Okay. All right, that was that was good. Solve that. Got that. Last time I solved for parsley first. 18 parsley plus garlic plus Yelfar. So that's dill plus garlic plus what's yellow flowers equivalent? Ginkgo. Parsley. But no, it's not parsley anymore, it's dill now. Dill plus garlic plus ginkgo. That's what we want. Dill plus garlic plus ginkgo is 18. Okay, I have that. And I only knew garlic in terms of parsley this time. Which was yellow flower last time. Or no, last time, okay, I got it. I understand what's going on. So... But I know parsley in terms of dill, so let's try that one. Let's try, um, if I can find some place to write. Garlic is, garlic is, what was it? 13 minus 2 parsley. Okay, so you've got 13 minus 2 parsley is dill minus 2. Um, where's the next one? We've got dill, garlic plus ginkgo plus dill. Okay, plus dill plus ginkgo is... 16 minus 2 dill. Hooray! They're not going to cancel this time. Excellent. 13 
is 2 dill plus 4 plus dill plus 16 minus 2 dill equals 18. Okay, so we've got 13 plus 4. Well, okay, let's just add all these together. Oh, wait, we've got negative 3 dill plus 17 plus 16. I think, is that right? 17. Yeah, we've got 13 plus 4 plus 16. So that's 33. Plus 33 equals 18. Okay, so then um, that gives us dill equals 5. Excellent. Dill, you are 5. There you go. Enjoy. Dill equals 5. Now, where are my other equations? I've lost them on this sheet. It's such a mess. I really need to, need to, I like never mastered the art of scratch paper. Ginkgo equals 16 minus 2 times 5. Ginkgo equals 6. Here you go, Ginkgo. So that means parsley is dill minus 2, so parsley is 3. Right? Yeah. And then garlic equals 13 minus 2. Three, so garlic equals uh, 13 minus 6, so 7. This better be right. Oh, thank god. <laughs> if she makes me do that again, I'm not going to be happy with this silly witch. Great. 